not afraid of seeing into the spirit world. Some are born with vision. Others achieve vision. And some have visions thrust upon them. Four people with psychic powers and a dog have joined forces to become the Psychic Five. Their mission, to seek the truth of ages that lies behind every tale of paranormal activity. Sometimes when you actually sense and feel what someone was going through when they lost their life, it's obviously very unpleasant. And she hit the car, there was a thump, and I pulled over, I got out, and there was nothing there. There was no nothing there. there. She's so now behind me again. Yeah, yeah I got goose, goose again, pimples. Yeah. The lady that we got in contact with, for some reason, chose to come towards me, and she stepped into my aura several times and wanted to communicate with us. I still don't think we've got to the bottom of it. She wants to tell us something. Anguish spirits who can only rest in peace once their tales are finally told are dying to tell us a story. To get to the truth, these fearless investigators will leave no stone unturned. They will put themselves, their safety and their sanity on the line. A combination of chilling dramatic reconstruction and paranormal investigation, the Psychic Five are telling tales beyond the grave. I'm terrified of the living, and I think that some of the stories are going to be scary because it's what the living have done in order to end somebody's life. I am sensing a woman there. I don't know, I feel like she came in with us and she's just kind of stood in yeah. this area here. I just keep seeing somebody standing in a long frock. There's something here, but that isn't nice. Oh, really? mm. Behind every paranormal event lies a story that's screaming to be told. The trouble is that the people who could have told it just happen to be dead. Until that is, four psychics and a dog hit the road in a 4x4 and journeyed out to find the truth. Scooby-Doo meets Blair Witch as our psychic five uncover the tales behind the stories that'll put a shiver down your spine. I think the incident with the lady on the bus is a completely separate thing to the boy in the well and the lady we're picking up on now. I think we're starting to put two and two together to think maybe she hanged herself and that's why we saw her so close to the window, so close to the ceiling. Yeah. That's why both um, women were feeling the strangulation and the vomiting. She's here again. Guys, I really think it's time we should leave. 